here's something a little different orange meringue pie. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. We're going to start off with the filling. In a medium sized saucepan, you're going to put three quarters of a cup of white granulated sugar and then one third of a cup of cornstarch and a pinch of salt. Now the heat is not on on the pan at this point. I'm just sitting it on the stove. Whisk those dry ingredients together. And then you're gonna add in one cup of orange juice, one half cup of lemon juice, and one quarter cup of water. Give that a little stir. And then add four large egg yolks. And when you separate your eggs, hold on to those egg whites because we're going to be using the egg whites for the actual meringue of this orange meringue pie. Blend those egg yolks and now it's time to turn on the heat. You're going to cook this over medium heat, stirring frequently until it starts to thicken. Now when it starts to thicken, you should be stirring constantly because you don't want your at the bottom to burn. It'll thicken up super fast. Once it starts to thicken, it goes really fast. So keep an eye on it. And then once it gets nice and thick, you should start seeing bubbles coming up through there. It starts to bubble. Take it off the heat. Now you're going to add in four tablespoons of butter cut into chunks, two teaspoons of grated orange zest, and then stir this together until the butter is melted. And if you want, you can add in some chopped up orange pieces if you'd like. I added about a quarter cup of pieces of orange in there and I stirred the orange pieces in and then you're going to pour that into a baked and cooled pie shell. Cover it with plastic wrap and I put mine in the refrigerator just to cool it to room temperature. While you're waiting for that to happen, you can make your meringue. That is four egg whites that we hold we held on to from before and yes I pulled that little piece of eggshell out of there before I started beating. I beat this until it was frothy and then you're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar and a half a cup of sugar but just a little bit at a time. So beat your eggs, add a little bit more sugar, beat your eggs, add a little bit more sugar and so on until the whole half cup is incorporated and at the end of about like maybe seven eight minutes You'll end up with a very glossy, very fluffy, very smooth meringue. And you want to beat it until you get stiff peaks. So when you pull the beaters out, the peaks stay pretty straight sticking up. And then you're going to place that on top of your pie. I just kind of put it in a big pile in the middle. And then I use a spoon to spread it around. Now what's important here is that you make sure that the meringue touches the crust. You want it to seal the filling in. And it'll rise better and it'll be better if you do this. And then I always make little kind of little curly, little sticky uppy little peaks to make it look fancy. Then put this in the oven at 350 degrees until your meringue is nicely golden brown. And then you're going to cool it before you serve it. And there it is. Looks gorgeous. That filling set up just perfectly and it is absolutely delicious. It does have a little tang to it because you do add lemon juice, but the flavor of the orange comes through 100%. It is sweet and delicious and such a great alternative to lemon meringue pie. If you have a lemon meringue pie lover in your house, they're going to love this one too. I keep mine stored in the refrigerator. This recipe was a winner and it will be made again in my household. If you love the flavor of lemon meringue pie, check out these recipes.